Hi there, it is design time. Welcome guys in efficient graphic design channel. And what we want to do today is using the oil painting filter. Like you can see in the image here, we applied the oil painting filter on the girl in the left. And like you can notice, the result is in the right part. To show you how to do that, let's jump in Photoshop. But before we begin, if you don't have the Adobe Photoshop installed in your machine, I placed the link in the description below where you can download the last version of Adobe Photoshop for free. And if you have any problem installing the software, just leave me a comment and I will reply to help you. To get started, we open the image and we go to the menu filter. Under this menu, we can find so many kinds of filters that we can apply. We can, of course, explore the filter gallery we have so many kinds of filters there we can use the artistic filters the brush series the detailed filters styler filters texture filters and so on more but in our case we go to stylize and we will choose the oil painting filter. Like you can see, the oil painting exists here in stylized filter. When we apply the oil painting filter, this window is shown up, which contains all the settings and levels we can we can edit. You can choose to make the preview or uncheck the preview if you want to see the result just in this little window. We can edit the stylization. You can edit also the clearness. Maybe we have to edit the scale and the brush details, the lighting, angle, shine, so many levels to edit here until we have the result you want. There is no perfect rule here. There is no ideal rule to get with, but you have to edit until you have the result you want. Every level here have a meaning in the oil painting effect and filter. You can edit also the angle with something like 90 degree or 40 degree. Whatever you want, whatever number you want. You can edit also the levels of the shyness of the filter. You have to make the shyness a little, a little more than that to make the filter more visible. And it's always depends on the kind of image, the colors it gets, uh, if, the, if the image contains persons or objects, it, if it contains a colorful background, or something like a blurry background, like you can see in this example here. And you edit the levels here until you have the, fit, the good effect you want and you click OK. Like you can see, when we click OK, the painting, oil painting filter is applied. And when we zoom in, you can notice the difference which applied by this filter. It is so great, very easy to apply and it give, give us something like oil painting, of course, effects and oil painting filter. To remember, you will find it under filter, stylize and oil painting. It depends on machines. If you have an old laptop or an old graphic card, Maybe you will not have this option in the stylize in the filter menu, 
you will not find this option because maybe your machine or your laptop is very old and the graphic card don't support this option the same thing with the 3d menu it has the same problem so but if you have an, a good machine and the, uh, a new graphic card with the newer versions you will find this option on all right guys i wish you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to get the tutorials coming up if you have any issues leave a comment and i will reply to help you thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorials